okay now let us talk about the protein complexes which are important for mitochondrial protein transport uh, so uh, some proteins are made in uh, cytosol and uh, the cell need to uh, transport those proteins from the cytosol inside the mitochondria because the mitochondria is uh, the place for uh, oxidative phosphorylation it's a place place for electron transport system so it needs to produce different kinds of proteins mitochondria can produce its own proteins uh, in some due to some extent but most of the time it has to have those proteins from the cytoplasm in inside the mitochondria and uh, in this picture what we are looking at we are looking at different types of proteins that are helping uh, to transport the protein molecules from cytosol into the mitochondria okay so here uh, this is the membrane of mitochondria and the mitochondrial membrane consists of different multimeric subunit of proteins those proteins are helping to in, uh, to in, uh, ensure the protein uh, which is destined into the mitochondria can enter into the mitochondria so here it is the extra uh, this is the outer membrane of mitochondria this is the inner membrane of my mitochondria and this part is the inter membrane space of mitochondria okay so in the outer membrane of mitochondria we have a particular protein which is called the tom protein the tom complex of proteins which is a uh, different protein subunits so two protein subunits along with uh, the receptor molecules uh, receptor subunit of the protein this is called the tom complex and along with that it also have a sam complex of protein sam complex of protein which is uh, not a dimer this is a monomeric protein but also have the channel so all the proteins like tom protein and also the sam complex of protein uh, it is made up with multimeric subunits but uh, they are having a channel or translocation channel we can call it uh, that's because of the protein has to enter from this translocation channel uh, that's why they, they are called this protein trafficking system from cytosol into the mitochondria or the cytosol into the plastid is called the transmembrane uh, protein trafficking because in this kinds of kinds of protein trafficking system we can look at through different translocational channel the protein has to be transported through the translocational channel which is present in these organelles okay so and inside uh, the intermicrochondrial membrane uh, there are embedded different types of protein which is most important one is a team complex of proteins there are two different complex of team proteins one is the team 23 complex another one is the team 22 complex the structures are little bit quite similar uh, of team 23 and team 22 but the only difference is the team 23 complex is having an extension of protein uh, handles which is embedded into the outer membrane so it is actually a translocating channel protein which is embedded not only the inner membrane but it also attached with the outer membrane of mitochondria but in other hand the team 22 complex is only incorporated only attached into uh, the inter uh, inner mitochondrial membrane okay and it also has the oxa complex this complex do not have any translocational pore but still this oxa complex of proteins is helping uh, the mitochondrial protein which is made inside the mitochondria to in, uh, embed in into this uh, in the in, into this inner membrane or sometimes to embed in in this uh, inner in intermembrane space so there are variety of different proteins as we can see are present in mitochondria and these proteins are actually helping are working together to take a protein molecule from uh, the cytosol and embed them uh, into this mitochondrial membrane sometimes and sometimes they have to carry that protein from cytosol in, into this inter membrane space and sometimes they also have to carry those protein from the cytosol into the mitochondrial matrix which is inside uh, here okay so one thing and uh, one way to memorize this thing uh, you must uh, look about this tom complex and team complex so this is a tom team pathway we can say tom team sam and oxa so this is the four proteins which are Im uh, important and tom and sam they those are two brothers and they sit on the outer mitochondrial membrane and the team and oxa are uh, are another set of brothers which are present in inner membrane of mitochondria that's how you can memorize it so tom and sam are in the outer membrane and other proteins like team 23 team 22 along with oxa in inside uh, the inner membrane of mitochondria okay another many uh, another important thing i must say about uh, this complexes of proteins is this uh, the remarkable similarity between team 23 complex and team 20 uh, 
2 complex uh, because in tin 22 complex we do not have this extension arm but in tin 23 complex we have this that suggests us that the evolutionary origin the tin 22 complex come first or earlier and throughout the time goes on this tin 22 complex is modified and modified in such a way to produce the extra arms which will embed them into uh, the outer membrane of mitochondria and finally what we have the uh, we have the tin 23 complex another important thing about the tin 23 complex I forgot to mention is that the attachment of the histidine uh, heat shock protein sorry the heat shock protein 70 or HSP 70 uh, with this uh inner leaflet of uh, team 23 complex okay that acts as an import ATPs uh, which uh, uh, hydrolyzes the ATP which which takes the energy by hydrolyzing the ATP and pulls the protein uh, throughout this nuclear uh, throughout this, um, uh, this this pores throughout this translocation channel so what happens in normal procedures we'll see later is a protein comes in and bind with the receptor which is only provided by the Tom complex and then the Tom complex come in contact with uh, with this team 23 complex complex via this extensional arm and then uh, the protein molecule uh, this channel this translocation channel of tom complex and the team complex come aligned in a particular place and then the protein is translocated from the tom complex via the team 23 complex and finally the hsp 70 molecule uh, is there which hydrolyzes atp and use the energy of hydrolyzation of atp and finally drag uh, the protein molecule through this translocation channel and that's how the protein is uh, transferred from the extracellular uh, extra mitochondrial space to in inside the mitochondrial matrix so we'll see it later but that's how the proteins work so the basic idea of mine to tell you that is that all these proteins are sitting together they work together so one single protein cannot establish a particular function so they have to work together to get into that so if you have a protein which has to be incorporated in the into the in outer membrane of mitochondria that could be easier because sam complex can establish that very easily I do not need the activation of the TOM and TIM complexes. But if a molecule has to be ins inserted into the inner mem intermembrane space, that's also not that much difficult. But if a molecule, if a protein molecule has to be entered from the outer uh, cytosol in, in, inside the mitochondrial matrix, it has to pass through different layers. It has to pass through the outer membrane, pass through the intermembrane space, and also it has to pass through the inner mitochondrial membrane. And uh, this protein uh, have to have a particular important signal sequence to be uh, incorporated inside the mi mitochondrial matrix otherwise they cannot be incorporated inside the mitochondrial matrix okay so the protein molecule must have carry a signal a mitochondrial transporter signal that helps them to enter into this molecule and also the protein cannot be very huge or large because this there are lots of different channels through which the protein has to pass so most of the time what happens proteins uh, which are synthesized cannot make a uh, fold properly to enter into the cell so they fold partially and then they uh, passes through these channels and finally enter into the matrix of mitochondria and after entering the mitochondria they complete the procedure of protein folding and this procedure of protein folding is um, uh, facilitated by the presence of few chaperone proteins uh, because heat shock proteins are very very much abundant in mitochondria as we can see here okay so that's the whole process and how the overall system is working together